wandering. When you travel on your own, it is not only a physical journey, but a journey of the soul. I've reached a point where being alone doesn't mean helplessness and loneliness, but it rather means flying high above the ground. It means freedom. Hey, I'm Adam and I'm a traveler. In my previous film, I shared my experience of exploring France and Monaco on my own. This is the continuation of that adventure. This is my solo trip to Switzerland and the UK. Good morning. Mm. I'm so tired. I need to take out the trash. Yeah, I cannot just leave it like this. It's not a hotel, it's a boat, so understandable. Bye, boat. Thank you so much. It was so great. Okay, I think I found my Uber driver, which is great. You know, it's hard to wake up for early flights. However, flying at sunrise is worth it. But it's okay, let's go. I'm ready. So off I went, we were flying above the French Alps. The whole flight, although short, was very special. I woke up at the sea and then I was going to sleep in the mountains. How beautiful is that? Hello Switzerland! It's so cold. <laughs> I hope it will get warmer. I landed in Geneva, but I decided to visit another place first. So I took an early train to my next stop. So I arrived in a little town next to Lake Geneva and the French Alps. It felt like I'm in Wonderland. I still have no words that could describe the beauty of this town. So see it for yourselves. This is Montreux.
this thing right here. It's so picturesque. It looks like it's Photoshop. Like, look at the mountains behind me. Look at the castle, the lake. I'm amazed. Well, my peaceful time was cut short by some other visitors. Anyways, I tried to enjoy every second that I spent there. I had a tight schedule, so I had to go back to Geneva. The big city was a huge contrast compared to the almost empty Montreux. Nevertheless, I was excited to see what the center of Geneva Heights. amazing up there but I'm glad that I came down because I was about to faint really I'm so scared of heights <laughs> anyways let's continue So if you don't know where the city is located, it lies right on the French-Swiss border. My accommodation was in a commune, in the French part. And I'm here. <laughs> uh, I'm back in France actually. I'm staying next to Geneva in a little, uh, I don't know how to call it, town or village in France. Because it's uh, much cheaper here. I cannot believe how many things I've seen today and the past couple of days. Crazy. I'm so happy I'm doing this trip. It sounded crazy, but now that actually I've been through, let's say half of it, it's not the easiest thing to do, to travel to so many places uh, in such a short amount of time, but still, it's worth it. Oh my God, can you see how red my face is? This is because of tiredness. Anyways, <laughs> I think I should go to sleep now because tomorrow will be an other long day. Let's go. When heating is not working. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's an other beautiful day here in Switzerland or next to Switzerland. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I have to leave soon because I'm going to visit uh, Karug and after that I have to go to the airport because I'm leaving and I'm going to London which is the last stop of this journey. It's good that I got some sleep because now I'm ready for anything. Wow. 
the weather became suddenly like autumn. And I'm in Switzerland and there is my tram. I think I'm going to miss it because I need to buy a ticket. Shit. Although I had a flight to catch in the evening, I managed to check out one more town called Karug. My stay felt so short, but still, I felt lucky I got to see so many wonderful places. I was very excited to reach my last destination, London. It seemed so far away in the beginning of this journey, when I was still in France. But at this point, I was getting closer and closer by every mile. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> it's so quiet. I'm so tired, but I need to plan some stuff for tomorrow. I say I should do it before I fall asleep. Also, this needs to be celebrated right now because I'm in my 30th country. <laughs> I'm cheering. I'm just really tired, really. Uh, sorry. And now let's get back to checking things on Google Maps. Just when I finished planning what I would do on the next day, I fell asleep immediately. So sunny. What a beautiful morning. I started the day with fresh energy. Okay, my new SD card is working. Oh, the thing is that my SD card got uh, full and I needed to buy a new one. It was expensive. I hope it was worth it. At least I will get a chance to share more with you guys. It was so annoying. I could only film like two or three seconds of everything. And <laughs> I saw so interesting stuff, but I couldn't film it because my memory card was full. Anyways, everything is okay now, so let's explore!
I think. Sorry, constructions. I think I reached the deep point. Sometimes when you're on the way for a long time, it gets really hard and exhausting. And I think I just reached my hardest point because my memory card got full. I didn't know what to do. I had to buy an expensive memory card. It was complicated. And also I lost a lot of time because of that. I was just walking and walking and walking the whole week. First in France, first in Monaco, then in Switzerland, then here. Yeah, I feel that I'm, I'm just so exhausted. But at the same time, I'm so thankful that I can be here. And also, I really love filming. I love taking pictures. I love visiting places. And yeah, I just started my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is only the start. People say the beginnings are always tough. Anyways, let's take a big breath. And let's enjoy London. I just need to eat something <laughs> and I will be even happier. I decided to end my day in lovely Greenwich. You know how much I love public transport wherever I go. So I had to try out the DLR. The next station is London Bridge. Weather is getting bad. Look at the sun. I can confirm that once again I had no trouble falling asleep. It's raining, could be worse. <laughs> it was time to begin my second day in London. I was ready to go. summarize all of the places I saw Chinatown, Covent Garden, Little Venice and many more all of these have their own charm and their own vibe I was about to say the weather could be better and the sun is back one of my friends told me about a park on the Isle of Dogs which is basically like a farm so I went to check it out Oh my god! 
There you go. That's it. Delicious. Good boy. <laughs> The garden at 120, where I was yesterday, became my favorite spot, so I decided it would be a great conclusion of the day to go back to watch the sunset from there. What an eventful day. This is my last night in London and my last night of this trip. London is such a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect it to be so alive, so colorful. Yeah, I guess it's just stereotypes. I was imagining this gray, big, dirty city because a lot of people actually tell me London looks like this, but it turned out that it's not the truth. Uh, okay, well, good night. <sighs> Morning. <laughs> I need to pack my stuff. This is the part I hate the most. A traveler's life is hard. <laughs> On this beautiful sunny day, I had to say goodbye to the unbelievably kind family that hosted me. It was time to go to the center of London for the last time. I knew that this long journey has come to an end. From France and Monaco through Switzerland, I reached my goal. I am happy. Isn't it crazy how many things we can experience in just a couple of days? I already feel how much this trip has given me. The beautiful mountains. The skyscrapers. The old houses. And the cooling waters. Are things I will always remember. <laughs>